That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hi, my name is Madison, and I am a former chief astrophysicist from NASA, funding and working with the Mars One Corporation. And that was the original audio from NASA.gov from the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. That is one moment in history we'll all remember. My team of eight, including co-founder Boss Steinsorb, and I have been working for the past four years to start establishing a permanent human settlement on Mars. All of mankind has explored every continent and almost every piece of land has been claimed by someone somewhere. So why not go even further past our Earth's atmosphere? It would be yet another giant leap for mankind. Our purpose in this mission is to expand our knowledge in the origins of the solar system, the origins of life itself, and the human's place in the universe. Currently, we do not yet have enough funds to do what we would like to achieve, so we are asking you, our community, our human species, to assist us in this great advancement. Total cost will be around six billion dollars. With your help, we will be able to achieve greater things, not as a country, but as one in the human race. Over 200,000 people from all around the world have applied to be part of our mission as an astronaut. We have chosen 660 people to do online interviews, just as TheGuardian.com states. Out of the 660, we will choose 50 men, and 50 women to be our top 100. The 100 we will choose will be put together in groups of four based on their chemistry, mentality, and ability and put into crew training this year of 2015. Groups of four will hopefully be sent every two years to keep the human population growing. We will be training them in three different programs full-time on Earth. Technical training for the purpose of understanding the equipment to the full extent. Personal training to help keep the mind sane while speaking away from family and friends on Earth and group training to gain co cooperation skills and how to work together under dangerous circumstances. All of them will be trained in the same conditions they would be under as if they were on Mars. They will be doing a few months of training at the facility and then sent off into various areas of Earth with extreme conditions such as hot desert terrain and or freezing temperatures. By 2020 is when we have estimated to be ready to, for our launch of their communication satellite based off of the successful Mars lander design used in the 2007 NASA Phoenix mission, says Indiegogo.com. 2022 is when we plan to have a rover launch to find the perfect area for our settlement. 2024 is when we'll have the cargo shipped, and then by 2026, we will have departed our first crew. And if you choose to help us in this astronomical adventure, we could all create history together even bigger than before. Visit www.mars-1.com slash donate and support us or visit www.mars-1.com slash about-mars-1 to learn even more about our new mission. Thank you.